Hey, it's Dorlene. Welcome to my channel. Today we're on day nine of my 12 Days of Christmas Tag series. I am having so much fun with this. I hope that you've been following along. Um, each tag is a little different and this one definitely is outside of what I've been doing. So I decided to make some of those three-dimensional honeycomb balls. Oh my goodness. So I thought, I looked at some videos, I thought it was going to be super easy. Look at it, it is a little easy, but there's some figuring out. So what I decided to do is I used copier weight paper, so thinner paper, and I used my two and three quarters inch punch, which I have right here on the screen. I punched out, once I was, it was all said and done, <laughs> I punched out 16 per ball and that gave a really good full ball and not too tight now um super easy so each circle you fold in half and then you put a dot of glue in the middle to close them and when i say in the middle you saw um i just did a little dot towards the top part of the um, opposite side of the fold the open ended just right in the middle. And then what you do is you start stacking them and you put a little bit of glue up on the top and up on the bottom, which I'm doing right now. Now I used my mat to kind of guide me. Now I've seen some of the videos where people made like a little template and put little pencil marks. Look at, I'm not all about that. If you follow my channel, you know, or if you subscribe here, you know that I'm usually a, an eyeballer or a guesser. And if it's about the same spot, it works for me, especially for something like this. It's an ornament or it's actually a gift tag but it basically looks like a little ornament for a gift I wasn't gonna take all that extra time but please feel free to do that so um, like I mentioned I'm making two balls right now um, but um, I did end up making more off screen but um, I stacked up 16 of these circles or the these half circles so again you fold each circle in half and then you put a dot of glue in the middle, in the inside of each one to close them. And then you go through and then you stack them on top of each other with these double, um, with an upper and a bottom. Oh my God. <laughs> An upper and a bottom. Um, it's dot of glue. And, and that's where you stack them up. And I alternated between green and white. I thought that was really pretty. Originally, I was going to do them just plain green. And then um, it just kind of came to me. So with each one, because it is a liquid adhesive, it does need a little bit of time to to dry, obviously. Um, now, I used my Nouveau glue, which is a scrapbooking glue. Um, later on, you're going to see me pull out the Aileen's um, brown, you know, tacky glue bottle. I thought about using... Um, a hot glue gun, but I thought maybe that the, all that hot glue just kind of piled in the same spot, all 16 circles might leave too much of a bulk. I don't know, but you know, use whatever glue is right for you. I truly believe that that liquid glue is probably your best choice or something like that. So look at here as I'm um, revealing and you see how it's still just a little tight. And this is where I think I started with, um, well, first I started with eight. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I did four more, 12. And then that's when I added these last four. And so, like I said, 16 circles seem to be the best bet for me. Now, um, it, it just looks prettier. And you'll see when it all comes out here, when I pull it apart. And it's some of the edges because the glue kind of, you know, it, over, it seeps through this and that. So it kind of like crackles while you open it. It's actually really cool. This was a fun fun, fun, fun project. I was so glad that I decided to tackle this, but look at, um, you know, all my fumbling here. Um, look at how pretty that ball is and the way it just, um, spreads open. Oh, I just love it. Anyhow. So, um, again, uh, I decided, you know, obviously need to put some kind of twine on it. So I just double, uh, did a double loop on a piece of twine that I had on my desk and I tied a knot at the bottom to give it kind of like a little tassel look. Um, and after I add this, you'll see me add a little bit more decorations over at the end. So I just put a lot of that glue and this is like, after I do this, I realized I need a thicker glue than, um, this, nouveau scrapbooking glue and um make sure you put those double lines again because you are going to be attaching you know from one end to the other 
and I just rolled it aside. Now I looked, I have a whole little jar of paper clips and of course I couldn't find them. So for now I'm just using my fingers to hold it together. But when I make the other balls, I did find the paper clips and that was so much easier because it also let me move on to the next one. So once that kind of dries and it's all stuck together, I just still kept kind of forming it with my hands because in the middle it still had a pretty big gap. Um, and that's when I decided I needed to get something a little bit stronger. And I pulled out my, my tacky glue and I just did like a squeeze in the middle. And then I just used my fingers to kind of press it in. You see how I'm doing that. I do that on both sides. And um, I don't know if it really needed it, but it made me feel a little bit better that I knew it wasn't going to fall apart. So back to my tag series. So I've been doing a 12 days of tags. I mentioned earlier, this is day nine. So I still have 10 them to three more. And, um, sorry, I had to do that math in my head. And, um, at the end of the series, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and the person who is, um, selected will get one each of all 12 tags that I created. And in order to get an entry, you need to leave a comment here on my Instagram or on my blog. All that information will be in the information box, a link to my blog, and also, um, my Instagram name but I do hope you do um, leave a comment for that reason because I think these are super fun and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get these 3D balls sent to somebody but uh, we'll see um, but uh, and if you haven't yet go back and see all the other tags it's just a good variety some are stamps some are using my Cricut some are something like this some is a recycling project they're just all fun they're all different and they work for everybody who you need to give gifts for. So once I added the little wooden ball to the top, I didn't show it, but I did punch a little tag. I tied it on um, with the red string, but aren't these so pretty? I hope you agree. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks for watching. Bye.